What's up, YouTube? This is a update. I told you I had more fish, and I got some new fish, and I am going to show you those new fish right now. I got discus. These beautiful, very beautiful discus came from a local pet shop near my house that uh, had ordered in and uh, the blue that's a blue turquoise and that is a I believe snake skin that is the female and she's very active she likes to swim around they swim together that's the male he's got some beautiful color to him beautiful pattern she's just swimming back and forth <laughs> i love these guys had a little update had a little uh let's <laughs> see them swimming together they're beautiful 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 fish <clears throat> These guys are currently eating, but uh, I think they're done eating now. They're just playing. I got a new little gadget by Lifeguard, and that is the digital thermometer that I, uh, I got. I have the tank set at... Uh, 83.6 fluctuates. I have it set to 84, but 83.6 to 84 is is the swing. Um, local uh, local uh, friends I made at the pet store they uh, they they required that uh, I'd have it set at 84 for uh, for everything that I have in the tank, including the uh, glowfish. The Tetras, the Neon Tetras, the Danios, all the other fish that I have. So, currently the uh, tank is running at 83.7 degrees. They're enjoying it very much. They got some color coming in. They're, uh, they're still juvenile. Yeah, she having fun swimming up and down. They love that corner. They just up and down, up and down. Even my uh, Dragon Gobies, uh, <clears throat> he's enjoying this. This is the Jaeger um, 200 watt heater. It's a great little gadget. Lets me achieve the water temperatures that I need. It has a nice little feature where you can set and adjust all your uh, your tank parameters if if you uh, if you need it to be like um, 84 and but you want to bump it back you just turn a little dial it lets you turn another dial to uh to fine tune it all the uh there's my dragon gooby come out to get him a blood worm or two he's gotten pretty big there's uh i call him bonnie and clyde it's my little black neon tetras i got my glue fish i got 10 of those i got 12 of the neon tetras they're all swimming around chilling got my zebra danios i got four of those there's three swimming together oh there's the other one try to get all of them in a shot for you but they move so fast it's my Dragon Gobi. He's and they're eating. Oh, he turned around. And they're his little uh his stump. That's his little his little hideout. <clears throat> There's my invention that I made to uh, help clean the water. Have a little bit of biomedia in there. Got a sponge. And uh, I also put the, the net, kind of protect the fish against uh, getting caught up or sucked 
toward it and, and whatnot. It's putting out a good flow. As a silly little guy, he loves to play in this. Let's see if I can't get a little goofball. He loves doing that. He'll do that all day long. He'll be swimming around that thing, jumping in, jumping in, just fly across the tank, swim back, do it again. He loves playing in the current. Anyway, once again, these are my new discus. Very, very beautiful guys. They're an advanced fish to take care of, but they're well worth it. If you got the time and the expertise and the patience, they're uh, they're quite fun to have. They have <clears throat> good personalities. And then uh, loves to swim and just back and forth. And there she is, hanging out, looking at her reflection, swimming up and down. I also did get one of these feeder cones. That's one of the last things that I got today. I got a little bloodworm action going on in there. They go up and they nip it off. See how one comes through. And then sooner or later they'll just fall down and they eat. They also uh, eat the, the Tetra food that I have. They're, uh, they're quite uh, picky sometimes <clears throat> if the parameters of your water and everything aren't correct but uh these guys are happy they uh they was a little shy at first you know playing the who's who and where am i because you know you take them from their original tank that they was in and they're not used to it it's like anybody being anywhere that they're not used to it might be a little bit uh shy at first they uh are doing good now over there playing. I hope to get some babies out of these guys. You know. Maybe maybe uh keep a couple for myself and sell off a couple to my friends if they if they're into discus or if they're able to keep discus. Um they get quite large. They uh they get about six inches to to try, probably about the size of a small saucer plate, you know. They uh, they do get big. They love that water. 83. Definitely perked them up. I, uh, <clears throat> I'll go over <clears throat> a couple of things that I got. Here's that, uh, here's that True Temp. Fully submergible. Aquarium heater. Thermometer. Well, it's a heater, not a thermometer. Thermo calendar. Uh, I'm trying to say it in Spanish. <laughs> Never could. I tried. Anyway, let me uh, let me hit a light here so I can let you check this out. True Temp. It's, it's got a three-year guaranteed warranty. This thing is way, 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 way more accurate than the one I had. Um, it keeps a lot better temperature for uh, for my fish too. It's fully submergible. It's a uh, aquarium heater, and it is the 200 watt. As you see, Eheim Jaeger. It is a nice addition to the tank. Keeps a temperature from 65 degrees to 93 degrees Fahrenheit. Whatever you uh, prefer for whatever application that you use. Um, these guys will be in no, no more uh, than 84, 85 degree. Uh, probably... I'll probably keep it at 83 because, you know, I got to keep it a little bit uh, lower for my uh, my glowfish and my tetras and stuff like that. They they enjoy the they enjoy it as of right now. They're they're digging it at 83. I'm not going to push my luck and push it any any further than I need to. 
But, yep, it's for marine life and fresh water. And it's, uh, it's good for either or, salt water or fresh water. Fully submersible. And this one is the 200 watt. And this is good for up to aquariums, 106 U.S. gallons. It is a German-made product. Always get the good stuff from the Germans. I am, uh, I am German blood, so I like to say, you know, I appreciate that uh, they did something nice for the, the hobby, making such a good product. Up to 106 U.S. gallons. New feature. The blue that you see is the only thing that you turn to uh, to set your temperature. The little red indicator that you see, the little uh, the red point right there, you can adjust that. But normally, out of the box, you leave that alone. And if you uh, if you adjust your water parameters, you would go to the back where it would be a, a dot on the back side and you adjust that to where your water temperature is. So say if my water is 83.5 and let's just say I wanted to make it 82, I would take, turn the, um, turn the um, heater around and I would take and move that indicator arrow to 82 and then I would turn the blue back to uh, to the desired temperature that I needed at. This is true temp dial with adjusting ring allows the user to calibrate the heater for precise temperature reading. This is uh, this is quite a product. It was under fifty bucks. Four clicks to the right or left. For a temperature scale adjustment of plus eight degrees four clicks like i said eight degree difference and you can make you can really fine tune your stuff here if you like this product if you're interested in this product you can check it out select the right heater always for your aquarium but i always uh request that uh you know, a responsible aquarist would uh, get something a little bit bigger than uh, than what you than what it calls for. This is a uh, this is a sixty gallon made by Marineland, uh, and I have the two hundred watt. So instead of the one hundred and fifty watt that I would get, you know, seven bucks more, get the two hundred watt. You have a lot more, uh, a lot more room to wiggle, and uh, and it's not going to take so long to get your desired temperature, and uh, you're going to be, you're going to be quite happy with this product, all the way through. Goes up to 300 watt heaters that they make. The largest that they make is a 300 watt heater for 159 gallons, all the way up to 264. I would recommend that if you do have a larger tank than 150, uh, you might want to get uh, two of them that you know evenly disperse and won't take up uh, too much time to find the desired temperature that you need. Once again, fully submersible, and this is about the te temperature dial. So I'll just scroll through this. So you guys can read it. Basically talks about all the calibrations that I explained to you. Very good product, guys. Absolutely in love with this thing. This is probably one of the best heaters I've ever bought. To be honest with you, I really love this thing. Really, really, really happy with this product and uh, so uh, it's made of shatterproof glass precise temperature regulations 
I got a little tongue tied there. Fully submergible, waterproof, on off indicator light, extra long cable of five point five foot six, I think. But so indicator clamp with two suction cups. Great product. Thermostat on this thing is definitely one of the best that I've ever owned. Trying to read this to you guys as uh, as I'm trying to explain it, trying to get trying to get it in, all in frame for you guys. So if I'm a little tongue tied, that's probably why. Fifty years of aquarium technology. Couldn't ask for more, guys. That is the Eheim Jaeger 200 watt true temp fully submersible heater i uh <clears throat> got that uh lifeguard digital led digital thermometer this was only 24.99 my local fish store highly visible ultra bright blue led display safe six volt power supply with five inch cord it plugs right into the power strip or uh, wall and you can put this right in your tank this thing is very accurate so uh, I ditched the old uh, the old school thermometer for one of these bad boys I saw it fell in love with it had to have one using submersible applications to display water temperature or dry applications if you guys have critters it'll work for that too displays air temperature for fresh or saltwater aquariums reptile tanks you can use this thing for anything guys accurate and durable suction cup to uh, attach it to your aquarium terrarium or whatever you're using it for thing is definitely definitely cool one of the most badass uh, little gizmos and gadgets that I've had for quite some time apparently it was edit at ed 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 editor's choice award uh, 2012 winner and it's 2018 guys and uh, these things are still selling like hotcakes apparently from uh, from what my buddy said at the at the at the store, Lifeguard Aquatics, check them out. Here's the website if you guys want to check them out. Info at lifeguardaquatics.com. www.lifeguardaquatics.com. And uh, definitely a must, man. I am loving that thing. Still playing. 83.6 degrees. Just having a ball, man. I would love to get some more of these guys. I'm thinking about getting a uh, Zebra uh, Pleco. They're really neat. Uh, Plecos that uh, I normally had were uh, just the the standard uh, Plecostomus. I mean... I seen these zebra ones. They're wild. There he is. There's Zoso. That's my dragon goby. Dragon goby is chilling. Grumpy little turd. Come on out there, guy. He's gotten long. He's gotten big. He was like five or so inches when I got him. And now. He's probably about nine, ten inches. To be honest with you, he coming out and grabbing a worm, poking his little head out there, being a grumpy Gus. Yeah, show these guys how you eat, buddy. Get you some. Oh yeah, all up in the giggity. Definitely, definitely cool. Those guys are a brackish water uh, uh, fish. So. Uh, I'll talk more in another video coming up about these guys. They uh, they require a little bit of aquarium salt to kind of pull the parameters that they need 
He's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You ought to see his tail if he comes all the way out. Wish I could get a whole shot of him. He's tearing it up. There you go. There's his tail. And right back in he goes. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is Danny signing out from Starlight Aquatics. Where you know where you can get the reviews and all the good stuff and check out what I'm doing. Hope to see you guys soon. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You never know what I'm getting into or what I'm going to be adding or updating or getting into. So, uh, in other words, signing out. Peace.